Hi my golden friends, this game is between Magnus Carlsen and Anishkiri, Magnus showed Billy Liancy in this game, but it was supported with a heavy preparation of uh, heavy engine preparation. And we will discuss this and especially we will discuss one moment that seems that Magnus did inaccurate move and even engine says that this is inaccurate move and even it is a mistake, this is an engine of leeches and it is basically a stockfish latest version to a very deep depths and of course it is uh, using my local system but still it says that it is a mistake but it is actually not a mistake and Magnus did a good job at that mo even that move and this is the main topic of uh, this uh, video today's video so let's go and see what happens. It is a Catalan structure. Opening is a Catalan structure. Magnus played against Jan Nepomniachi in, the, in World Championship several times in Catalan structure. And the idea behind the Catalan structure is that White tries to venture to a bishop and attack the um, b7 pawn, the rook at uh, a8, or sometimes even c7 pawn. And um, Sometimes uh, white sacrifices a pawn, like here, gives up a pawn, and just uh, to gain activity, right? Now the diagonal of bishop is open. It's not easy for black to stop that bishop to come from coming into play, and when this bishop comes to play, it's like a dragon. Dragon bishop in the dragon, in Sicilian dragon, but in the reverse direction. So, Anish tries to shut down the bishop by counter it with its own his own bishop and the game continues of course we don't discuss the opening too much notice that uh, generally i'm not talking about opening too much because especially this opening is about uh, is about um, preparation of magnus for world championship that magnus uses against innocent anish here uh, and yeah, and it didn't have such a big preparation, at least for such a big event like World Championship. And exactly in this structure, Catalan structure, that I think it was a bad choice by Anish to let Magnus to go through it. Anyways, so we don't discuss too much about opening moves, but we discuss about critical moves only. And one very specific move that engine doesn't realize how good it is. And for example, this move is crazy. Let's see, takes the pawn, allows knight attack, and you expect to go somewhere that knight doesn't attack afterward, but goes exactly somewhere that invites knight to take on a4. It's like a psychological play with Anish. Like um, Anish at this moment could take with the knight and bishop. If he was taking with the bishop, he was losing the c pawn, but a still is okay. Uh, he would give back a pawn, one of the pawns. But uh, winning with knight keeps his c pawn alive, but also his knight is a little bit bad position in the rim. And bad thing about uh, why I say psychological effect, uh, psychological move, is that right now and he should go back with the knight. Knight is on the rim, is attacked. Uh, next move, Magnus grabs this. Uh, for example, if you do something crazy, then grabs this and then wins the knight. So you should bring the back the knight. But Anish said that no, I want to play active, and Anish played queen d5. Silly all good, but uh, unnecessary complication. It's clear that Magnus is in preparation, and you don't want to complicate these things up. And take six, you should defend the knight with the queen. Your queen is bind to the knight and goes in with the knight. And this dragon bishop is released. The Catalan bishop is released. And there is no way to stop it. Okay, there is a way, but it's very difficult to see. Currently, for example, the, this is the one where one position that Anish could save the game. Um, and uh, he had to again bring back the knight, but he didn't. In city played knight in. And actually what I want to discuss is the next move of Magnus. But 
Here, just let me quickly show on, on how insane is this position actually. At this position, Anish had to go back with the knight, and even though Magnus can capture the pawn and attack the rook and gain back the exchange, you have a very delicate move of knight c5, uh, c4. And then at this position, you on black attacks the that a strong bishop, so white cannot do anything but to capture it. And then uh, black has an intermezzo move. Notice that you cannot capture this um, bishop because then you lose this knight. So um, uh, black has an intermezzo move. That's uh, sorry to take this bishop first, attack the queen and save your knight yeah then uh, then the game oh sorry the game continues and it's okay it's not very uh, pleasant for uh, black but it's okay yeah and said anish didn't do that but it was difficult to see it uh, anyways anish also is a top player maybe mm, we should expect him to see this anyways he played the bad move of knight d5 Magnus played like an engine right now, and this is the move that I want to discuss. At this position, as you can see, engine says play bishop uh, e4. What's the idea? The idea is that if you do something nonsense, for example, move the king, okay, we will win this pawn. If you don't move the king, for example, if you try to save this pawn, okay, we win this pawn. Yeah, and uh, uh, the position collapse. So what you have to do is to defend the uh, edge pawn, either going back with the knight or playing uh, g6 or playing h6 or something. Uh, the best move actually is to go back and it's very hard for human player to believe that they should go back actually. They did a bad move. So this is the idea behind this e4 move of engine press the pawn structure of black for example force him to play something like g6 and then capture this knight and this sort of pawn structure but magnus didn't play that instead magnus simply captured the knight and look at the engine evaluation before that was 1.6 and now is zero and says that the best move is knight c3 and let's do the next move, the best move of uh, suggested by engine, knight c3. See, best suggested move of engine, knight c3. Let's do it together. Whoops, engine evaluation changed. Just no engine realized that bishop b4 is a killer move because it gives up a piece and then uh, it's a very easy win for Magnus. And Magnus, uh, this is the move that was very amazing for me. Like, naturally, uh, even as a human player, you first play e4 to attack the h-pawn. First play bishop e4 to attack the h-pawn. And knight goes back, you just capture this and you are very happy. But Magnus was so confident that giving up this pure dragon bishop is not bad at all and have seen everything and uh, of course anish uh, made a human error just took the bishop and that made it even worse because then magnus continued bringing the rook in the seventh rank and attacking with the queen to the uh, king side of the uh, anish and notice that here from queen side attack we swing to the king side attack by occupying queen side by rook, no attacking the king side. And Magnus went on to win this game relatively easily after a few moves. And it finally gave up and resigned the game. And this way Magnus is leading in the tournament right now.